today I'm gonna try and put these handrail posts in. Looks like I might be getting a little bit of rain though. Maybe that'll move around me. <laughs> Wishful thinking. So this all, uh, this whole YouTube thing actually started me building a gate a long, long time ago, even way before I was a samurai carpenter. And I thought, you know, for all you newcomers to this series, you need to have a real good taste of what I'm actually doing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm installing these posts here to build my welcoming gate. Paradise, the gate of paradise. Just so you can get a taste of the joinery and the craftsmanship that I am going to be pouring into this property over the next few years, and hopefully several seasons of the off-grid samurai show. blade on this thing keeps popping off or breaking it's an awesome tool but it's finicky but it's worth it when you can make sexy profiles just gotta clean that up with the sander and the router plane router plane rabbit plane rebate plane something or other shut up Jesse Alright, so before I install the post, I'm putting this Sikaflex caulking. Real sticky, messy stuff. Um, the reason for this is I do not want to trap water, 
right? So wherever you have a big timber bolt to another timber, right? The water is going to get in there from the rain eventually, and then it's going to get trapped and it'll never dry out. Then the insects take over and it rots. So what this does is it, when it bolts it in, that all squeezes out and creates like a gasket, which doesn't allow the water to penetrate. Now, I want it so that it doesn't squeeze out a ton. I don't mind if the water gets in a little bit along the edge because then the air can dry that out. But water that gets into the middle, the air will never get in there and it'll never dry out. Right? So you can also seal this with paint. There's, I've done it a number of different ways, but I think that this is actually the better way to do it because it seals both surfaces so that water doesn't uh, get into the joint at all. Nice work, bud. Well, we got a samurai up in the tree here. This was not my idea. I climb. I think he saw Jonathan take that tree down and climb and thought that the looks. Rope harness is hurting me though. <laughs> it's right up in the tender region. <laughs> All right, this side's done. Okay. Now, getting down. Uh-oh. Never done this before. Slow and steady. Jonathan was saying this is the hardest part. My apologies if the camera is bouncing. Ooh, not... This is sketchy. Just go slow. You can do it, honey. It kind of looks, like looks like he has a giant rope in his butt crack, because he does. Look, you're almost there. You made it. Work up a sweat. Kids better appreciate the swing. <laughs> I gotta say, it's got the best view I've ever seen on a swing. Actually, that's the way. 
Follow Carver. Follow Carver on the trail. Over by Dad. Okay, sit in the circle. There you go. Scooch that way. There we go. Okay, ready? Oh my god. Like that? Tent. You see the tent, yeah. I'm standing up. You boys are crazy. I like it. Just the right kind of crazy. So what I'm doing here is I'm end screwing each section of railing and then I'm having to toe screw this in. Um, so that way uh, the railings are a lot stronger because we got screws going all the way through as opposed to all toe screws. You can still make some pretty strong railings just toe screwing from the bottom. But I want to have as you know few fasteners and countersink holes visible as possible. So this is the method that I have chosen. I just kind of get my rails squished in there and do any adjusting if the posts are a little bit out of square. So I want these cuts to stay as nice as possible. And then um, I just measure my reveals right here to make sure that it's centered on the post. And I have my little height marks on the bottom there. So now I can just countersink this rail here. two four inch screws to hold that in. inch to go. Bam. Whack it. There you go. Keep going. More. One. Two. Keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. Just keep hammering until I say stop. Get it harder, Carver. There. One more. One more. There you go, bud. Perfect. Okay, my turn.
going, bud? Almost there. I want it to be just like this one. Just a little bit sticking out. You're missing it. There you go. A little more. There you go, bud. One more. Give it one more. Perfect. Nice work, guys. Can someone hold my bread? Becoming timber framers? Yeah. Can you hold my bread? And you just keep hammering like this. Why? A little harder, bud. There you go. A couple more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Harder. Eight, nine, ten. Come on. I did it. One okay. more. Your Ooh. arm's tired. Switching off. There you go. That's good. Perfect. Thanks, bud. I'm sick. Thanks.